And we're back, mofos. <laughs> and what's good, homie? I don't know. I'm I'm just hoping that the pop hog is not flicking out on me. So I was <laughs> doing some testeroids there. Was that a testeroid? Yeah. An audio, an audio testeroid. Yep. Right. <laughs> 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 Even then, it's still like almost. So like right. when we were here, la so this is the topaz or. I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but the Emerald Passage was nature-themed. Um, the Topaz patch Passage was toy and board game-themed. <laughs> and then um, this one is horror-themed. This is the Sapphire. Horror-themed? Sounds H -O -R -R -O -R. great. H-O-R-R-O-R. <laughs> oh, okay. Not, I mean, like, just because it's a horror passage doesn't mean it's a horrible passage, huh? <laughs> It's a nice reference that was poorly done and nobody will get That's it. Captain Coin. Yes, he does have a name. <laughs> he's an he asshole. <laughs> he's a bit of an asshole. He likes to steal your coins. So if you're trying coins? to get your Yeah, if you're trying to get your gold rank and trying to avoid Um no, it's the next like the next level I might have trouble clearing within the time limit, because I had some bullshit in the test run. Bullshit. Well, I think the most annoying thing he does is the coins are like, alright, sort of whatever, but he takes keys or, doesn't he? Yeah, he, he'll Our take friend, your keys or. He'll take your keys or if you like them. Um, fuck you. <laughs> I almost died a couple of times in this part, actually. What a loser. What, does hard mode change anything about, like, health or enemies or anything? Oh, um, those black porky fucks over there. They, Whoa, easy, dude. Those black porky fucks were not in the original easy, easy mode. With the racism. It's not racism. There, are, <laughs> Their shells are of a blacker sort than the mm, pink ones. I, I know what you mean. <laughs> I, I assure the audience I am not intending to be racist in this part, but <laughs> you know, at any rate, now that, now that we've covered that, we might as well get... Fuck you, you stupid pink ghost. These are the most annoying enemies in are the game, ghosts? in my opinion. What what else are they supposed to be, Eric? They just what look are like they guys wearing the sacks. Okay, uh, <laughs> listen. <laughs> I might want to rephrase that. They Okay, they don't look like ghosts, if you will. <laughs> ghosts. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I don't understand like what anything in this game is. <laughs> Alright, so about this room right here. Um, first of all, there's another oh, fuck so you stone hidden in the wall, so because crap. god forbid. And also, um, in easy mode, there's just a diamond here. So in hard mode, you do have to go into this little section here. Yeah, I was gonna say, that doesn't seem like something. Yeah, no, like, I, I'm, I'm afraid, so afraid that I'm gonna somehow forget a jewel piece or something while I'm playing here, because... I don't know, like, I, I know these levels well enough that it shouldn't be a problem, but... As, as to going into why those fucking ghosts are so annoying, not so much in this level, but in the fourth level in this passage, they are just the most ungodly annoying fucking things in this game. Even more annoying than Captain Coin there, when we get to the escape sequence. But, um... Anyway, and so in the last part we were, we were talking about E3 and stuff, and... I just wanted to. Oh yeah, I guess, you offer. were saying you were saying that it was as I said, the Xbox One. I don't even want to talk about the you know the other two consoles. I just want to talk about like what I like about the Wii U's lineup. Yeah, but I feel like we do that all the time though. Well, I mean, like we didn't actually know like, what they were going to release next time. I, I suppose, but like I, I want to. I I'm, feel like you are very much a Nintendo fanboy. Yeah. Let's be honest. There's well, no, there's no, 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 there's no dancing around it. At least I've actually played a game. Oh well, no, you done that. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, like I'm, I really like Sony stuff for the most part. You do, but you're like, okay, any day of the week you'd pick a Nintendo console, probably. Over. Yeah. Hey, um. I mean, like console. I will admit that I'm. If I had to pick a side, it would be the Big N. Yes. <laughs> the Big. See, only a Nintendo fanboy would call them the Big N. Anyway, as I was saying, wait, what was I saying? You're a Nintendo fanboy, and you, let's be honest, that's just sort of the, the truth of it. Um, yeah. Uh, not not point? that you're, not like in the fanboy way that like you're like, oh, Nintendo's by far the best, and Sony and they, Microsoft are garbage. And... They're only my favorite because they make my favorite types of games. And... Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you're, if you're I... more reasonable about it. 
If I liked if I liked shooters more, then maybe I'd like you know the Xbox or you know Sony stuff more. Uh, I feel like most people who like shooters and are actually like into video games um, prefer PC, basically because of keyboard and mouse versus um, controller. Yeah. Um, now, all I'm saying is that like since this past generation has been very shooter heavy. Yes, I, to, I like, agree. And as somebody who likes shooters a lot more than you do, it it's it's not it's not very. I think it's getting better. Mm -hmm. Like people are starting to come around to say Call of Duty is just the same thing every year, whereas before they're like Call of Duty is the same thing every year. Yes, you know. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I just feel like you talk about the Wii U a lot. And I, because like uh, I feel like we should talk about all three, not any all right. one of them. Well, you know do you I mean? actually know anything about the PS4 One's lineup? Just that I don't. Well, just that it's a lot of, it's kind of a lot of the, the same still. I mean, I yeah. feel like, I feel like. Oh, what what was that Project Spark game that pissed John Tron off so much? Okay, the reason that pissed him off. Oh, is I know about they, the Conquer thing. They I used just... Conquer if. If you want to, you can go look that up if you're a Conquer oh, fan and you want to be mad <laughs> for whatever reason. I've seen JonTron's video, so like I know about... It's like, just, what is the actual game, though? I mean, is it like a... Well, you know, I actually don't really know enough about it to make any big big statements, per se, but... Get these assholes to run in the water and you get... Um, I don't know enough about rat. it to... Uh, to <laughs> To completely tell you, all I know is it's basically you take you take the assets of you know stuff <laughs> of you know their games or maybe more generic assets and make a game out of it. Supposedly, mm. I don't know. I, 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 I it think to... it's pretty dickish that they're just like, hey, I know that we could have been making a they, new Conquer game all this time. I think they thought time, it, but... they, they thought it'd be cute the same way they thought like nuts and bolts would be cute, but it's uh... it's not. <laughs> I don't think uh, I'm not even that big on Banjo Kazooie compared to many rare fans. And you I mean, like, I still like those games a lot, but it's still it's just like I don't. Nuts and Bolts doesn't offend me that much. I haven't even played it yet because it just. I mean, like Banjo Tooie was so long and had so much content in it that I'm more than satisfied with you know, what we have. I mean, like getting a new actual 3D platformer Banjo Kazooie would be great, and I. And the, let's be honest, the only reason that Microsoft's not making one is because they don't think it will sell. Because, yeah, it's just like they said in the freaking, in Nuts and Bolts, like towards the beginning. People don't want to platform around anymore, they want to shoot things. Mm, yeah, even though they because did that, of that in like the worst, they, they made their point in the worst possible way. Oh, the actual cutscene with like the Game Master guy was kind of funny, but... I mean like, the fact that they were just like... I, I'm sure... Because, let's be honest, something like Call of Duty sells a hell of a lot more than most platforming games is do. Unfortunately. And, in the end, that's all that matters is the money. Because, like, if you're not making money, why are you making games? You know what I mean? And I mean, like, I'm, I'm sure that, I'm sure that, um, a Banjo 3E would... <laughs> Did you fuck it? God damn it, you stupid motherfucking clam, mother asshole, fuckhead. Did you... <laughs> that was... That was, um, something else. I have to go find the Did damn Did you create teaser. a restore point? No, I'm not gonna do that. I, I, I'll... Go! Get over here! Come on! <laughs> See what I have to deal with. <laughs> Stop that! That's so fucking irritating that... Anyways, right, get in the door. It, it just feels like, to me, like... Alright, a lot of the games nowadays are at least on the Xbox One and PS4, which I really don't think are different enough to, to you know, to really compare. It's always, you know, Xbox One versus PS4, and nobody considers the Wii U, but I yeah, think that's because the Wii that. U is different. The other two do, like, the same. And they do what's popular, um, but I feel like uh, they do yeah. the same. I feel like older... Oh my god, I've never had him chase me in here before. <laughs> Usually he like go up here and then follow you. Like, but if, when you get in that little tower area, he leaves you alone. Interesting. Uh, anyway, um. <laughs> oh yeah, I got everything. That's great. Fuck you, ghost. <laughs> okay. Um, I I just feel like you have like, you have the shooters right, which everybody mm. bitches about, 
And then there's this... And it's not like I same, think that's the, the only thing that's on the competition. Yeah, well, no. Well, I know remember I what I said the other day about how, like, they sort of t take, like, the Uncharted-type formula? Yeah. It's like a sort Speaking of more of which, realistic story. I know that there's going to be an Uncharted 4, I know that much. Thief's End, I think. Yeah. I just feel like that's, that's all people are making, because that's what sells and gets critical success. Yeah. Yeah, you got your Because let's be honest, The Last of Us has a fantastic story, but is yeah. it the sort of game you're going to play oh, again the and again? Oh, the gameplay is garbage. No, it's not... From what I've seen. It's not garbage, it's just very derivative. <laughs> derivative. But I've heard, it, like, it's an inferior derivative. Although I haven't played much of it. Like I like the addition of more stealth elements as compared to Uncharted, but that's otherwise... true. But I feel like every every fucking game that comes out nowadays is one of the features in the feature list is stealth sections. You can. I actually like stealth sections. I do, but I feel like it's it's starting to. It's almost like a requirement in every game that there's some sort of stealth uh. involved. You know what, now that you mention it, like, even Super Mario 3D World had a stealth section in it. <laughs> right? But anyway, I just feel like there's that class of games, and you have, like, a few, like... It, I could be I could be wrong, because honestly, I probably haven't, you know, By the way, looked into it enough to say anything, so... you've ever seen in your life? Oh god, yes. Um, but, it, I feel like... could be wrong, there's probably few exceptions. I mean, you have, like, Knack. Which, like, nobody liked, but... That was a at, PS4 at, game, right? Yes. Yeah. That's at least different. Um, you had, yeah, like, your Dead Rising, which anybody who played the first two Dead, Dead Rising, Rising doesn't seem to like. Um, I, I played... Well, that's because Inafune left, and not... Well, well I'm it not be, it became... Uh, okay, well, it became less... Like, I played a lot of Dead Rising 2, and mm. Dead Rising 2 is a... The Dead Rising are cheesy, silly games. Right. It's well, like, let's the the company that made the schlock that is Resident Evil, you know. Yes. It's not like what do you expect? But it's like even more so. Like Resident Evil is like you know sort of cheesy and silly, but like sort of cheesy and silly. But it takes itself more seriously than I think. Um, Dead Rising kind of does. But in the, in the new game, it's like. They tried to make it darker and grittier. And oh, it's one of those games. It's, ex exactly. it's a Jack 2. It's a Shadow of the Hedgehog. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I, Speaking of which, I don't know how it plays or anything. I know, well, I know that at least on... Yeah, it's a Cornbox exclusive. You even have me fucking saying Cornbox or whatever. Uh, you, you need to blame Undisclosed Person for that one, because I didn't make it up. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just feel like everybody's trying to make the same game. And I feel like a lot of, um, I feel like the best sort of categories of gamers, like, I know actually a lot of people feel the same way about Nintendo, believe it yeah, or not. Yeah, to, to an extent that because, I Because, listen, understand. Nintendo's not doing fantastic commercially, is it? The Wii yeah. U was considered sort of a, a, a failure It's still release. sold better than, it's still sold better than, um the corn box so far. Yeah. I'm not sure how long it's going to be I think like part of it, it I think part of it, it is marketing. Like the Wii yeah, U. The, definitely. That sounds, that sounds like a a peripheral almost. It's a, it sounds, reminds me of they the Sega named CD it, a little bit. They should have named it something else. I, I totally agree. Yeah, but um, now I have to wait for this like, asshole to go old. Especially the when they have peripherals named Wii Blank. Like... Yeah, like the Wii Balance Board. Yeah, it's like, the, you have Wii Fit, and you have the Wii U. Like, they it's really, like, if they wanted to I think that's, bring, if I they think wanted to bring hardcore gamers back, they should have ditched the Wii brand and made something new. But yeah. let's be honest, the hardcore gamers were never their concern when making the Wii U. It was, I'll, they yeah, made I'll money off of the casual market, so that's what they were going to continue to appeal and that's, to. And, and that is also marketing, which, you know, we're, we're talking about games here. As for games, well, as, mu as much as I care about the games far more than marketing, you know, the actual it is marketing a problem. That's well, that's why I said you have to keep it in mind because that's how they think. You have to think like a realist if you want to understand what they're trying to do here. Yeah. And, well, that's why I said marketing. But I think if we're talking about if we're talking about games here. Right. Yeah. You got your Mario Kart, got your Smash Bros. You know, you got a lot of people who aren't as into Nintendo, that's the first thing they always point out, is that Nintendo are making sort of the same games because they sell. 
Which oh, is oh, so so is like Activision with their fucking Call of Duty. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. That like they all do that to a certain okay, extent. Okay, you're be yeah, that's what I'm saying. Everybody's yeah. doing it. Nintendo's not an exception, and I feel like a lot of times since you're in a Nintendo, we're like, oh, they they're in much I, more innovative. <laughs> innovative. In innovative. Innovative. I I don't necessarily think that I. Hold, hold on a moment. I've got to make sure I get the. Um, Although I can't go up there yet. That's fine. I think a lot of people think that they won E3, sort of, from what I've um, seen. Even if they did, I doubt people will admit it, because like they, except for Ninty fanboys. Yeah. Because <laughs> Ninty. Ninty. Oh my god. Of which I probably am one. Mm, like the fact god. that I didn't even look up anything in the PS4 of one shows you that I really just. I looked at a little bit. I mean, besides like a few, like wow, that looks cool. I, I mean, like I only own a Wii U, so why would I care? <laughs> well, I mean, I only really play much on PC nowadays because I feel like you have a lot of the games that are multi-platform. Yeah. And if the, if, if you're gonna option, play multi-platform, like. you might if you're gonna play a multi-platform game. You and might I think as well it's the best the place for indie games, games because it's a lot easier to get on Steam than it is to get. Yeah. You know, in the Xbox Live Arcade or whatever. I mean, you have your, you know, whatever. But By the um, way, I hate these flying skeleton things. And I feel like that's where a lot of people go. <laughs> I feel like that's indie games are like such a big thing nowadays because the people who are frustrated with just having the same games over and over again they like going indie being games able to are ditch them big yeah MNCs. indie games are the people like indie developers are the people who don't have as much as that pressure that hey you need to make some money rather than mm -hmm. all right I want to make this game that I want which is why you get like yeah. Binding of Isaac and stuff which is Binding mm -hmm. of Isaac like that idea would that ever exist from what you know about Finding of Isaac is that it's kind of, um, not, yeah. it's an interesting game, or, you know, something, something you don't normally see. Right, when, yes, okay, I know where everything is. Alright, this, this escape section might give me some trouble, I had some to fuck with it in the test playthrough. Yeah. And see, because I did my test playthrough, I know that that might exist. <laughs> That's why you do it. Anonymous. <laughs> Or undisclosed person number two. <laughs> number two. It's. But I digest. It's super obvious. Can I just say that by now? Um. By the way, you can get a shit ton of money in this level, because like I swear, like even on hard mode. Are you gonna even bother? No. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I mean, like I since I did that part right there in one try because the arrow was. See, like what happened in my practice playthrough was that like I missed the arrow and I ended up grabbing all the gems anyway, so I didn't know where to. You know, do the super ground pound. And <laughs> super so, ground pound. Oh, super ground pound! <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just feel like all all the consoles are guilty of it. But I feel like Wii U looks like it has more coming down the pipeline. Um, yeah. I think the idea of Bayonetta is cool. Do you know much about Bayonetta? Bayonetta, Bayonetta 2. Come? Yeah, I know that they're making Bayonetta. I'm interested in a lot of, that one, by the way. A lot of people are um, who like spectacle fighters um, say mm. that Bayonetta is like one of, if not the best, example of a spectacle fighter. Is that like the the? Um, is it just supposed to be like super over the top and interesting yes, to watch? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's, so it's not supposed to be like God of War, where it's just no. that. Well, sort of that is kind. Of, that is kind of super. I love God of War. The gods of Olympus have abandoned me. <laughs> but anyway, because I I just figured it was in that same genre this whole time. Yeah. Well, it's um, it's cheese. Actually, the um, Bayonetta two is coming packaged with Bayonetta one. Yeah, I saw that. And that's I, that's a really, I I. That's a consumer friendly thing to do. I since I feel. I've never played Bayonetta one, and I was interested in getting Bayonetta two because it was a Wii U exclusive. That that makes it all that more interesting to me because now I can play the first one and then the second one, and I have them both like, you know, for the Wii U. Like they should have done something like that for, like the Ar Arkham games because I would have liked. Oh yeah, that to have because cool. like you can't play Arkham like Asylum, and that's my favorite of the three. I feel like that's kind of hard. I don't know. I feel like that's a hard well, business they, decision to they made, justify. They made probably. like a Arkham collection for the PS3 and Xbox 360, where they had like both Arkham Asylum and Arkham City on like one disc. Mm -hmm. But they didn't do that for the Wii U, and the Wii U never had Arkham Asylum. So I would have 
like to have seen that. Like maybe in Armored Edition they could have just done that, like Bayonetta 2 is doing, but now we're getting off topic. Um, next part we're gonna continue on the Sapphire Passage, that's what it's called. Um, so we'll see you guys in the next part. Bye-bye!